Hello friends, it's Lisa with Harmony House Art. Um, so today's video, I wanted to bring you to the other side of the table and show you how I do resin. I, I do my resin. It, it's just what works for me. Um, and by the time I thought to record this, I already had it mixed. One part uh, resin and one part hardener. And I always use the stone coat art coat I just it's the best for, I don't I'm not sponsored I don't get any discounts or anything like that I have no coupon codes it's just what works for me so uh, it, it's fully mixed and one of the tricks I do in the summer I'll, I'll stick the um, gallons out in the Sun to warm up before trying to mix it and that is a huge help uh, see how thin that is it's just so easy to work with fewer bubbles the cooler the resin is when you're trying to work with it, the harder it is to, to get all the bubbles out and everything. So I mix the two parts until there are no stringiness is in there. Um, if you look, I always use a clear container, it can be glass or whatever, but just because I can see through the side and see if there's anything that's not well mixed, I'll just keep going. But it's so much easier to mix when it's thin. And then I just start, uh, I usually work from the middle out. And the piece on the left, the square one, um, I will have to do the sides also. One, the round one is I actually tape the sides up. That's a canvas. It's just a 10 inch round canvas and then the square is a wood panel. Both of these are pretty recent uh, and I've been looking at them thinking yeah I, I need to get the resin on those so here we go. So usually I just, I work from the inside out and you can use your uh, stir stick or your fingers or whatever works for you. And try to be really careful with the edges, especially on a canvas. Um, the larger canvases I don't even try to do because they sag in the middle and all the resin pools there. And then you've got bare edges and it takes multiple coats to get them really well done and it's just it's just a hassle and not worth it wood on the other hand the wood panels you can do any size and it's just so gorgeous you'll see what I mean when when we're done here at the end I, t I actually stay for the end because I take them outside and let you see what the Sun does to these colors oh my gosh with the resin on there So I sped this up just because it, it's a very, it's kind of a tedious process just to make sure it's everything, every, there are no bare spots, everything is completely covered with resin, um, including my tiny little initials down there. And the, you can use a torch or a heat gun to pop the bubbles that uh, usually you know you're about done when the bubbles stop rising so for me it's typically about a three <laughs> I usually have to go over it about three times at least with the torch to get to get rid of all the bubbles if you don't get them all they'll harden in there and then you have a pain to sand it down and then do another coat just to get rid of the bubble pockets the air pockets So now I'm on the wood panel and I'm just, you don't need a lot on the edges, really just the leftover, whatever falls off onto the, um, the freezer paper is plenty to do the edges. And just, I just wipe it around, make sure, it, you know, it's smooth, um, yeah, like that. You don't have to put so much on that it fully runs off the edges because it'll just it'll end up running all off onto the onto the freezer paper and you don't need that waste. Stuff's too expensive to be wasting any if you can help it. 
I go, I'm picky about these, really picky because I've learned that it, it saves to be picky now and not have to do a do-over <laughs> from a, you know, a hair in there or whatever. Um, so I try to be really careful and make sure there's no contaminants in, on, the, on the resin. And here's a close-up of it before I cover them to set up. That depth of color though, look at that, oh my god. And I mean, my camera's not even, unfortunately my phone doesn't do the blue-green family justice. It's crazy with the red, purple, pink family, it over saturates them, but undersaturates these, so you're not even seeing how truly beautiful these colors are, unfortunately. But when I take them out in the sun later, you, you might get a better idea. Okay, so now all I'm doing, I don't have a big dust-free zone, so I'm just covering up with some, uh, like, uh, space saver containers, plastic storage containers, leaving them right on my work table. And we'll come back at about 16 hours and take a look at them. Okay, here we are next day. This is the fun. This is always fun to see if they're perfect or if you've got a little something in there that's not perfect. <clears throat> It is, it's perfect. Just trying to give you a little bit of a close up. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. Those blues though. Here's just another close-up. <coughs> the resin adds such a depth to the to the colors and just oh it just makes me want just makes me drool is what it does. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Okay, um, we're about ready to go outside, and I just want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I it means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. I hope this answers your questions. If not, uh, tag me in the comments or like, send me an email, whatever, however you want to do it. And thanks again. Take care. Talk to you soon. Okay, I, I forgot this. <laughs> Outdoor part is just... <laughs> God, it, and still it doesn't really capture the beauty. I wish you could see what my eyeballs see because it's something else. Okay, I'll be quiet now and let you enjoy.